Hey everybody, this is Brent Warner, the EdTech Principal at EdTech.tv. I hope you're doing well today. Um, I often spend time thinking about the best way to collaborate with people, and not just for me or for people I work with, but also for the students and a, a good way for them to collaborate. And you know, I'm thinking a lot of times, well, there's a lot of these different software programs that let students collaborate online or let people collaborate online. Uh, but sometimes you just want to jump right into it. Um, and so I want to know one thing is how can I work with people easily? I don't want a big mess. I don't want to have to sign into a bunch of things. And the other one I get is how can we get directly to a shared platform? So, you know, I've actually looked around for different things and I haven't found a lot that has really satisfied me. So I was really happy to find Stoodle. Uh, Stoodle is a really straightforward web application that you just jump onto, you share the page together with whoever else you want to go on there, and you can collaborate together. Now the cool thing is you can do this by um, laptop or you can do it by iPad, either way it doesn't matter. Uh, there's not an app for the iPad, it's just going straight to the website. But today we're going to take a little bit of a look at it and see what some of its strengths and also some of its weaknesses are. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're going to open up stoodle.org. Now it says stoodle.ck12.org, but they'll both take you to the same place. This is really easy. It start, starts you off immediately with a big button that says launch a classroom. That's all it takes. So let's jump right into it. Now it'll ask me my name, so I'll say Brent. And it wants me to be able to use my microphone. Um, this is so that I can actually talk live with people while I'm collaborating, so I will allow it. And then it says copy and paste the URL to invite your friends to class. It's really as easy as this. Um, I also have a few other options. I can send out a link by Facebook. I can send out a link by Twitter. So if I click on this, it'll say, hey, join my classroom. Um, or I can also send out a link by email. But as long as I have this URL right here, anybody can join my class. So let's take a look and see what happens when, uh, when someone joins it together with me. Okay, so it doesn't actually show me anything, but when I click into chat and participants, I can see that there's me and there's uh, my friend Stuart. So just the two of us, if I want to type anything, I can say hello. And if Stuart were to type something on his iPad, he would say hi. So we're pretty straightforward there. Now, the thing about uh, Stoodle is that it really is totally open collaboration, and that's something that you do need to be aware of. So if I want to write something, I can write, you know, whatever line. And Stuart can also do the same thing on his computer or on his laptop or, uh, sorry, iPad in this case. So he can write something as well. Now that's awesome if you're collaborating and you're working together in a way that is you know, productive and you're actually trying to get something done, uh, but do be careful because if you're being a teacher and you're working together with someone or if you're working together with multiple people, there's no indication of who's doing anything, of who's writing anything, and that is something that you need to be aware of. Now if you're working together with another teacher or if you're working one-on-one -on -one with a student, uh, it's great, or even if you're just hopping in to look at someone else doing, you know, some of your students doing work, really good, but just be aware, um, there's really no control over who does what, and if I choose to erase or make anything, that's where it's going to be. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go through a few of the different options here. Um, as I said before, these links are ways to share out the information, and then everything else is pretty straightforward, so a square means I want to draw a square. A circle means I want to draw a circle, and so on. Um, a straight line. Now this one here is cool. You can bring in a picture from an outside source, um, but do be careful whatever size you set it at when you make it is going to stay at that size. So if I make this size image and I want to drag in a picture from my computer, Let's say I want the uh, EdTech TV logo. Let's 
Well, see, now here I've got it, but it's not quite the right shape. So do be a little bit careful about that. It doesn't seem to be adjustable, although I can move it around if I want to. I, I haven't found a way that I can change the shape of it. Um, and then I can also, of course, delete things. Um, it, if I click on that, it's going to delete the whole page. I don't want to do that quite yet. Um, and then I can also turn on my microphone and turn it off if I want to uh, speak and hear other people speaking with me. Now on the other side uh, is the simple pencil tool, how to write. I can change the colors with it if I like, no problem. If I want to type something in, what it does is I start my type area and then I write what I want to say and then it pops in. Uh, this button will let you move whatever item you're highlighting. This one, whatever you hover over and click, will delete. This will undo an action. This will redo an action. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see it's really, really straightforward. Um, if I want to add more pages, I can click on Add Pages down here at the bottom. Oops, mine's a little short. I can click on add pages and create a whole new page and then just start going on. Um, and Stuart might join me on the second page as well. And it is a lot easier to write with the, uh, the iPad version than it is to write with a uh, laptop using the using the handwriting tool um, but that's pretty much it so really cool way to work directly with people um, again there's nothing kind of there's nothing fancy about this there's nothing no recording options no uh, you know no way to export what you're doing it's really just in the moment collaboration um, but that can be really useful and that can really focus people's uh, thoughts directly on what they want to work on. So I really recommend it. Um, you know, it, as long as you find the right setting for it or if you recommend this to your students to work together and collaborate on projects that they're doing, it really can be useful for them. Um, I hope it's something that you take a look at and, uh, and see how it works for you. All right, you guys. So today I really did want to keep it short and simple. Uh, for your homework, it can't be any easier than this. Just bookmark studle.org. Um, that's it. So, uh, as always, I, I do want you to follow me and I want to follow you. So, find me at EdTechPrincipal on Twitter, on YouTube at uh, youtube.com slash user slash EdTechPrincipal, and of course at Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash EdTechTV. Um, I am around the web and I do want to hear from you. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you find this useful. Share it with your students and hopefully they find it useful. It's a good way for them to work on homework together um, and to, uh, to collaborate in a way that is efficient and, and hopefully useful for all of them. That's it. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you soon.